He had the natural talent to play rugby union or cricket, but instead Ernie Els chose the sport of golf. Any wonder he decided to concentrate with club in hand, at age 14 he was playing off scratch. For the Johannesburg-born golfing sensation, a calm demeanour masks an explosive game. A game which first skyrocketed in 1992. Ernie matched the feat of compatriot Gary Player by completing a hat-trick of the South African Open, PGA and Masters titles. In 1993, he won the Dunlop Phoenix Open in Japan and was also the runner-up in the Australian Masters. He won the Dubai Desert Classic on the European Tour in 1994 and went on to win the Johnny Walker World Championship in Europe. But at age 24, that wasn't enough. Ernie won his first major. This was the 92-hole US Open Championship, which included a three-way 18-hole playoff and a two-way, two-hole sudden death playoff to become only the fourth foreign-born player since 1927 to win the championship. This was the first of six victories in 1994 for the South African, who won five more over the next seven months, including the World Match Play Championship title on the European PGA Tour. He successfully defended the title on the European PGA Tour in 1995, becoming only the fourth player to win successive titles. Ernie was nearing world dominance. He enjoyed one of his most successful stints in 1996, winning the South African Open Championship before finishing second at the British Open. He had an historical win to retain his title at the World Match Play at Wentworth for the third successive year. In early November 1996, Ernie went on to win the Johnny Walker Super Tour Championship, a tournament running over five days and in five separate destinations throughout Asia. The next year he became the only current player to have won two major championships before the age of 30, when he shot one under par for 69 to become just the second foreign born player since 1910 to win two US Opens. And he remains one of only four foreigners in the last 70 years to win the title. Ernie has been consistently ranked in the top five golfers in the world, according to the Sony World Rankings, reaching his lifetime goal of attaining the number one position in the world of golf in June 1997. He went on to win the PGA Grand Slam tournament in November 1997, a tournament featuring the four major winners of that year. The honours kept rolling in for Ernie when in 1999 he claimed the Alfred Dunhill PGA Championship before finishing bridesmaid at the Heineken Classic in Australia. This year brought further joy for Ernie, this time off the fairway. On the 26th of May 1999, Ernie and his wife Liesel were delighted with the arrival of their firstborn child, Samantha Lee. The board of directors of the European Tour announced the same year that Ernie had been unanimously accorded honorary life membership of the European Tour in recognition of his two US Open Championship wins and his unprecedented three successive world match play wins. Whilst Ernie continued to play the international circuit, it was with little PGA success for almost two years. He was victorious twice in the early months of the 2002 European Tour, capturing the Heineken Classic and the Dubai Desert Classic. But it wasn't until he added his third major championship, the 131st Open Golf Championship in Miami, that his trophy cabinet received some new and much-deserved glassware. 2002 would have been satisfying enough for Ernie with the addition of son Ben, but instead it also heralded one of the most enjoyable career moments, victory in the British Open over world number one Tiger Woods. Ernie Els is one of golf's most gifted natural players and many cannot help but be impressed by his fame and demeanour. He boasts all the qualities and potential needed to be one of the world's greatest golfers of all time, a feat that may have already been achieved.